I'm gonna do this quickly. Then we're in Little Prince. And the Little Prince ability, when I pop it like this, will take care of a good portion of the graveyard. That's what I'm talking about. Perfectly defended. You are so ready for that. What's up, gamers? It's Jerky here, and today we're gonna be playing one of the best counter decks in the meta and it is minor poison control if you thought you weren't going to hear those words in the same sentence uh you're not alone minor poison control is back and honestly it's kind of in response to all of the giant beatdown and the lava hound beatdown that is so prevalent in the meta so it's really refreshing to see honestly just something that's new come around you know like I feel like the meta has been so stale for so long and so Ian77 is number one in the world using this deck. I've seen a lot of Clash pros using this deck. It's over on the bottom left of the screen. And you would think that it doesn't work, but it works really well. Basically your defense is just amazing with the Evo Tesla and the Evo Skeletons, arguably the best two evolutions in the game. And so you're kind of just taking advantage of the fact that you, if you defend properly, there's no way that they break through and you can just chip them out with Minor Poison and Princess at the Bridge. So that's kind of the way that the deck goes. It's a true control deck uh, and that's why I think it's super awesome. So it's not the easiest to play. I'm not going to hop on this video and be like, this deck is free wins, you know, kind of like I would if it was a beatdown deck because those decks are a little more brainless. But it's a high, it's a high skill deck. Like it's a hard deck to play well. So I'm here for it. I enjoy it. We're gonna try and get King Tower activated. I don't know if it has enough HP. Oh, it does, that's great. I'm gonna take the poison here because it's gonna keep my princess alive. He wasted those skeletons, so I'm gonna go in with the miner and just try and get some chip onto the tower. I mistimed it. I wanted the knight to tank for the miner, not the other way around. We're gonna do this. Um, just kinda get our evil skeletons out of hand here. I don't really know what he's using, to be completely honest. His deck is kinda weird, like firecracker e-barbs. It's the first game of a 12 win challenge, so. Sometimes people just make homemade decks. I'm going to go Princess at the Bridge. Yeah, it is going to be E-Golem. Another reason this deck is really good is it's kind of like a Void Bait deck. Like, we have a bunch of things in here that kind of bait the Void spell. We have the Princess, we have the Little Prince, we have the Tesla. So, you kind of want to, like, bait out their Void and then punish them with, like, all of your other cards. So, we're going to do this. Um, really bad Firecracker. He actually just played it into the Poison, which meant that we were able to log it. We're going to spread everything out here and just protect our Tesla. And there's really no way that he breaks through. Like, that's kind of what I was talking about with this deck is it's kind of like a Stonewall defense type of, type of deck here. We're going to go really aggressive. Princess at the bridge here. And, um, yeah, that Princess is going to take care of those Skeletons and hopefully take care of those Bats. And he spent a lot there. Dagger Duchess is still recovering. So, we're just going to go for a Minor Poison here. I think he's going to play, like... Yeah, I was going to say Firecracker or Bats onto that. And you can see why this deck is so strong. Like, you can just kind of control the tempo of the entire match. Plus, from a matchup perspective, we got a really, really good matchup as well. So, not a lot for us to complain about. All right, we just need to survive this push here and we'll be A-OK. -okay. We're going to go ahead and pop the ability and we're going to Princess and get ready for this. I could Poison, but I'm actually just going to go Miner and then Poison on the corner and maybe try and Nick the Firecracker. At this point, like... We just need to cycle our stuff and finish the game. With the Little Prince down, you can cycle Minor Poisons incredibly fast. So that's going to take our first game. Again, it's a control deck. We manage the tempo the entire time. So great first game. We'll take the dub and catch you in the next one. All right, into our next match here against Chick Kind. I'm really hoping we get to play against, like, Giant or Lava Hound. I mean, I'm sure we will. Those decks have the highest usage rate almost in the entire game. So I'm excited to see how this video goes. Okay, I was kind of slow on my reaction, so he gets two princess shots. But if this is traditional log bait, we're going to be in a really good spot. We actually clap back right away. It looks like he's playing probably the same deck, honestly. I like looking at the cards in his deck. So it's going to be control versus control. So not surprised to see anyone using this deck. I think the reason that this deck also came about is because, like, Goblin Barrel is still, like, a pretty bad win condition. Like, it's not horrible. Like, bait is decent, but... Like, Princess is one of the best offensive components of Log Bait. Okay, so since we know his deck, I'm going to go like this. I think the only thing he really has is Skeleton, so let's try and log the Skellies. Yeah, great prediction there. The Knight tanked for all of that, and now you can see we kind of snuck into the damage lead, which is really nice. Okay, I'm I'm worried about the Princess. Nice. We actually catch it there, which is huge. Oh. Uh, it was huge. That's our fault. Okay, we're going to try and get a nice counter push there. I mean, he got a lot of really good damage, but it was kind of aggressive in that sense. Miner's going to tank for this. Again, log. Hopefully catching skeletons of some sort. Yeah, I know we don't, but that's okay. Okay, they're going to come down late. 
Nice. So this guy's played really well so far. Um, kind of my fault not catching that princess. That was like a total mistake. I'm going to try and do better here. And I'm going to princess like kind of high. I want to do it out of poison range. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> that, that princess from him was so delayed. Like that was kind of comical. I don't know. Nice. It's out of poison range. So let's go ahead and do this and go for a minor in the front. He should have evil skeletons in hand. So he'll probably defend this really easily. Oh, interesting. He goes for the LP instead. I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah, there are the Evo Skeletons. That makes more sense. We're just going to take the poison. Fine with me. If he goes Princess, we can log it if we're, like, quick enough. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. I don't think he'll predict it. I think it's fine. Like, I, I didn't expect him to, like, pop the ability or anything like that. We're going to go Princess of the Bridge at, of our own and then immediately go for Knight. Mm. We failed that, uh, that block, but we're going to do this to establish Bridge Dominance. When you do this... He's unable to go in for a princess at the bridge. He goes minor poison. We're going to do a similar thing. We're going to go minor skeletons. And then log on his skeletons. Good catch by him. I should definitely be mixing up the minor placements. I'm going to do princess here to get a shot on the tower. It's definitely worth it. Princess damage in this matchup is super important. He kind of just wasted that Tesla. We're going to go for a poison of our own. And now we're in a really, really good position here. We're going to try and catch the minor. We don't. Good princess by him. My fault for not predicting it with skeletons, but we have a very, very healthy lead. He uses his log, which is interesting. We're going to do this and try and block the Tesla. Okay, I ate evil Tesla, so it didn't matter. But at this point, I think we can just go for minor poison chips and win the game. So minor gets two shots there. That's almost poison range. I'm going to do this because the only way he beats me is with the princess at the bridge at this point. Yeah, we're going to do this. And I think that poison takes it. So good game to that guy. He actually played pretty decently. We definitely made some mistakes in that matchup. But overall, I think we played well. So GG's to that guy in the mirror matchup. We'll take the dub. Catch you in the next one. All right, into our next match here against Yapperdio. That's actually kind of a funny name. Hopefully, they're running Giant. Hopefully, they're running Lava Hound. Would love to showcase what this deck can do on defense. If they don't play anything, you can go Princess at the bridge. It's a decent starting play, especially if you're running Dagger Duchess. Most of the cards that they play in response to that just kind of die to your tower anyway. Interestingly, this guy is running P.E.K.K.A. Not a ton of P.E.K.K.A. I want to try and get to my Tesla, but unfortunately, it's nowhere to be found. He wasted his log, and um, yeah, I missed time to those skeletons, so that's kind of unfortunate. We're going to do this and take care of the Battle Ram. And just protect our little prince as best as we can, honestly. Okay, he's running a really heavy deck, but little prince is still gonna is gonna continue going in. I'm gonna try and do this to keep it alive. And I know it's all gonna die to the giant skeleton bomb, but like this little prince is like looking like a machine gun right now. Look at that. So yeah, he's running a really hefty deck. Good to know. Overall, good defense. I mean, whenever you don't have the cycle that you'd want, um, you're kind of just trying to get by. So my Tesla is nowhere in hand. That defense would have been infinitely easier if we had our Tesla. We have our log ready for the skeletons. Not going to let him get away with that. Nice. He log cycles a log. The log to BM combo. I love it. We're going to cycle our skeletons trying to get to our evolved ones. And just cycle a little prince. Tesla comes down. So now we have our Tesla in cycle. Overall, we actually have a pretty good cycle to defend. I'm curious to see what he plays on the Little Prince, if anything. I'll go ahead and pop the ability. I want him to have to spend instead of, like, supporting the, the P.E.K.K.A. That was perfect. We got the Little Prince out of hand. Or, excuse me, the Mini P.E.K.K.A. out of hand. And now this Tesla is really not going to be able to break through. So easy for us. I'm just going to go ahead and log here. And life is good. We have Evo Skeletons if he goes in for the Battle Ram. Usually they're not quick enough to zap, like, on reaction. But it just depends. Okay. He does that. Let's let's immediately go for a Skellies. And we're going to Tesla as well, trying to get to our Evolved one. And that's going to take care of pretty much that entire push. So good on us. Okay, those Evo Skeletons are going to eat up a lot of the daggers. So we're going to go in with the Miner. That's kind of when you want to go in for a Miner. Um, when, the, when they're low on daggers. At least that's the main strategy of this deck. Okay, he has a Monk. That's interesting. He's probably going to go for like a Battle Ram here. We actually have a Surviving Tesla. And a knight as well. So let's do this. And then we're going to go for a shockwave. Shockwave is going to reset everything. And that little prince was targeting uh, targeting everything but the monk. We have a miner down. We have a uh, knight down. And even with... Look at even with those evil skeletons. <laughs> miner still gets on the tower. That's absolutely crazy. And this is what, I, what I'm talking about. This deck, the control that you have with this deck is insane. Your defense is just like stonewall like if you don't make a mistake there's really no way that they break through so that's kind of 
what we're going for here. I don't even think this guy has a void either, so this is going to be, like, super difficult. Since he used the log, I'm going to do this. I just want to, like, bait out stuff from him, to be completely honest. We're going to get a second Tesla down, and look at these Evo Skeletons absolutely demolish this dude's deck. Like, he has nothing for it. Oh, my gosh. My man is getting obliterated right now. And he has nothing. We're going to go ahead and BM this guy because he was BMing us to begin with. So absolutely demolish that guy. No problem. GG's. We'll take the dub and catch you in the next one. All right, into our next match here against XD. Hoping that we have a good matchup. I've been wanting to play a beatdown deck, you know, like Giant or Lava Hound. Now that it feels like we have a deck that has good answers for it. But who knows? Maybe all of those, those type of deck players have gone into hiding since this deck came out. We're going to do this. I just want to minimize the damage that that gets. Wow, he spent a lot there. That's impressive, I guess. All right. Wow, he spent a lot. Let's do this right away. And let's try and get let's try and get some retributions here. Yeah, okay. So he has like no elixir right now, so that's going to do a ton of damage. Yeah, he kind of just spammed me there like I felt like I could I could feel him just like spamming cards at the bridge. So, you can see there we took almost his entire tower. And so, that's what you get for spamming. Spam or no spamming. Okay, night like this just to keep the ghost from splashing onto our tower. Looks like it's gonna be Pekka. Not quite the matchup we were looking for. I mean it's it's good, it's actually very good for us, but we just wanted something different. Yeah, there goes the Pekka. I'm glad I didn't support that with anything. Cause now this will be a really easy defense. The reason I say that is because our cycle is perfect for defense. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and take this poison. And, like I said, easiest defense on the planet. Okay. It's gonna go like this, just because he's spamming. And we're good. See, so, yeah, I don't know if we... I don't think we took any damage there. I didn't see if the Magic Archer got a shot, but it doesn't really look like it. So, so far, so good. Especially if you can get to double Elixir, um, your life is easy. The, the thing I'm most worried about in this matchup is the Magic Archer. So, I'm gonna do this. He'll probably play a Ghost on it. We'll get at least one shot. Beautiful. So yeah, if you can play around the Magic Archer well, you'll be okay. Right. He has Magic Archer and Tornado as well, which is interesting. Because I feel like you don't usually see Magic Archer Tornado in a P.E.K.K.A. deck, specifically. But it is what it is. We're going to Tesla low out of Magic Archer range and kind of away from our Little Prince. Yeah, that's exactly why we played it in that position. And then we're going to go for a P.E.K.K.A. because he goes for the Fireball. And we're going to... Or sorry, Evo Skeletons because he goes for the Fireball. That was like a really, really bad tornado. We're going to go in with the Miner here because of the Evo Skeletons. We're trying to get them on the tower. And it looks like they are going to get on the tower. No, he has to go for a Zap. He's really low on Elixir, so let's do this. Mm. We'll go ahead and write that off as a little too ambitious. But we're going to go Skeletons here. And mostly <laughs> DPS down that entire P.E.K.K.A. That Little Prince took down that entire P.E.K.K.A. So maybe it wasn't too ambitious. I don't know. Okay, Evo Tesla here, plus Skeletons is going to defend all of this. There's that Marcher I was talking about. We're going to do this. Fortunately, it's not lined up on our tower just yet. Yeah, really bad tornado. We're going to do this. Princess is going in. He has to spend on the Princess, and because he has to spend on the Princess, he can't defend the Miner. He goes for the Evo Zap, but I don't think that's going to be enough. So GG's to this Pekka player. Definitely our matchup, but at the same time, I think we played it really well. So we'll take the dub. Catch you in the next one. All right, into our next match here against Manu. Manu, Manu. He has the Sparky in his banner, but I feel like Sparky's not super uh, common in the meta right now. I'd be kind of surprised if I saw someone playing Sparky. <laughs> uh, the timing was impeccable. All right, so we're going to set up a Tesla here and um, get ready to defend this Sparky. Probably go for, like, Goblin Giant or Normal Giant in front of it. We'll go for, like, Little Prince really low. Interesting. Okay, he goes for the Mega Knight. So we're going to go like this. And then Skeletons to block the Sparky shot. Mm, I need you to take one step, King. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> Woo! I thought that was going to splash on my tower, but we're good. We're good. We don't have to talk about it. Okay. We're going to pop the ability here just because we're up a little bit of Elixir. Mm, I mistimed that, unfortunately. If I timed that a little better, this interaction would be going much better for us. But at the same time, at the same time, this is what this deck is good for. When you're low on daggers, you go into the miner, they play multiple troops on it, and you get a really good poison. So, incredible start, all things considered, considering he just opened up with the Sparky. 
So it looks like he, what, Sparky Meganite. Should be illegal, man. What kind of deck is that? I guess props to this guy for doing something original. I, I will, I'll give him that credit. We're going to go Princess. Whenever you play beatdown decks like this, Princess at the Bridge is a really good play because then they can't go in for like a massive push. We're going to get a nice King Tower activation. Going to go like that. King Tower is activated. Skeletons take care of the front Firecracker. And I would I would say that's a perfect defense. Like I, I, I genuinely don't think I could have done anything better. Okay. Log, full counters Ewez with the Dagger Duchess. We're going to immediately go in for a Princess. Wow, well played. He caught it. I was kind of just like riding this guy off. But at the same time, he also just like wasted his little Prince. I guess he would have had to spend it, any spend it anyway. So that was good. We're going to use our Knight here. I have lots of other options for defending the Mega Knight. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm assuming he's going to drop a Mega Knight on it. Oh, he weirdly doesn't. I'm going to go Miner in the back and try and poison something. He'll pop now he'll probably drop a Mega Knight on it. No, he, he does that instead. See, I don't know why he played the Mega Minion in the first place. Because... Now, it just gave me poison value. Okay, we're going to do this. And then log to take care of the firecracker and keep our princess alive. That was a pretty important play. Knight like this. And he thought that that was going to um, jump on our Tesla. Which is why he did that. Mm. Oh, I'm going to wait on the poison. Sometimes I can be a little trigger happy on the poison. And you don't really want to be. Let's do this. And then immediately go for skeletons. Princess onto the tower. And that was a bad firecracker. He's going to probably drop... Oh, he goes for wall breakers. I thought he was going to go in for a Mega Knight. He misses the zap onto the princess. Oh, man. This this dude cannot catch a break. All right. We're going to go skeletons low here. And then we're going to keep the pressure up with the miner. Knight high here for the little prince. And then we're going to cycle a log. We're going to start, like, chipping him out, honestly. Like, at this point, we only need a few more minor poisons. Dude is feeding my poisons right now. What is happening? And you can see we're already back to another miner. Okay. Skeleton here. Log. Poison. He doesn't catch the miner. So that's going to be a good game. Absolutely dismantled this Mega Knight player. I don't know what else to say. GG's to that guy. We'll take the dub. See you in the next one. All right. Into our next match here against Busy. Yet to play against Beatdown. Maybe today's our, our, our lucky day in this match. Don't know what I'm saying. He goes for a knight. Whenever they go for a knight, I like to princess in the opposite lane. Because um, Dagger Duchess takes care of the knight pretty much. And the princess just provides the extra damage that's needed okay he goes for the guards i'll just cycle a log dps it down even further and then my princess should live i can play like skeletons late to protect it okay i'm not going to now because he played the bomber tiger dutch is going to clean up everything else okay he goes for an xe kind of looks like it's a goblin drill deck i don't know for sure but just from the just from the looks of it i'm actually going to tesla early i want to get to my evo and that'll take care of the xe yeah, pretty perfect defense. I was right on the Goblin Drill. Okay, wasn't right on the spacing. Ooh, that's so much damage. I should have played my Tesla higher. I was trying to get it so the XE would target the um, Tesla. So that, that was just a mistake. Unfortunate. But it is what it is. Tesla going to get a lot of value here against the Knight. We can de definitely bring this back. We're going to go Miner here, so the Princess takes care of the Berry. Okay, I wasn't expecting him to Void, so well played. Okay, Knight's going to come down. And I kind of want a Princess. Mm, I was hoping it would target the Bomber. Yeah, it's fine. Well, not my best defense, but he has just as much damage in the other lane, so it's not that important, all things considered. Getting our Tesla ready. I'm going to Miner here so that way the Knight actually takes damage from the Dagger Duchess and from the Tesla. And now his Evo Knight is gone so that we don't have to worry about that threat. Because the Evo Knight pushes can be really scary to deal with. So glad that we don't have to worry about that. Evo Bomber as well is a threat. A big one. We're going to try and predict it. I don't know for sure if he's going to do it, but I feel like it's coming. Okay, he goes for the Void instead. It's fine with me. if he does it no he doesn't i feel like i was trying to bait him to go in for the evil bomber like i swear he had it in hand but maybe i'm just tripping nice we got we got a really great poison there and i think my princess is gonna live huge now he has to spend on my princess okay get the tesla out of hand little prince in the back and now we've kind of made back a lot of the 
the damage deficit that we had to start the game. We need to be ready for the Evo Berry at the bridge. I'm sure it's coming. There it is. Nice. Perfect damage, considering he had an Evolved Bomber in hand. Now I'm going to go like this to keep my Princess alive. Poison on the guards here. Once again, to keep my Princess alive. Nice. And he has to spend Bomber. It's really... really. I was going to say, it's good that we're going opposite lane, but he wisely switches into my lane. That's the right decision. Tesla there to keep the Bomber off of my tower. Super, super, super important. And now we're in a position where he switched into our lane, so... Definitely the right decision on his end. We just have to be careful with how we defend. I could switch lanes as well on my on my end, but I don't think I'm going to. Let me do this. Failed to keep my princess alive, but we're still looking okay. Go for a log here onto the drill. Pretty decent defense. Alright, let's reset here. Nice. He played the knight into that lane. Let's go. Miner in the front here. Oops. I meant to play a log instead of a poison. That was my fault. Ah, that totally just messed up my rhythm. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. I'm going to go in for a miner. An Evo Tesla in front here. Should clean up the drill. Okay. It's going to be a close match, man. He's playing well. I got to give credit. You got to give credit where credit's due against these types of players because... It's not like it's an amazing matchup for for him. But he's playing it well. Let's go like this right away. Okay, he uses his tornado. That means he cannot tornado with the executioner. Okay, he doesn't want to go in for a drill when I have the Evo test left. That's kind of why he's stalling. There's a lot of stuff down. We got to block the tornado here. And we got to go in for another poison. Let's go like this. This. Last second log on defense. And we got him. Well played to that guy, honestly. That was a really tight game. I feel like that matchup is pretty even. They're both kind of control decks, but... We ended up clutching up. So GG to that Goblin Drill player. Very well played. See you in the next one. Alright, into our next match against this player. Gonna see what we can do. Maybe get a chance to play against Giant. It's like, it always works out that way where you're like... Whenever you want to play against a certain deck, you never get the matchups. Looks like he's running Miner as well, and he's interesting. He's strangely enough not running the Dagger Duchess. I feel like I never play against anyone nowadays that doesn't use Dagger Duchess. All right, we're gonna try and capitalize with the Princess at the bridge, and perfect timing. It's gonna force out the log. Looks like he's running. I was gonna say log bait, but the bats are kind of throwing me off, and the Miner. Okay, it looks like Mega Knight now that I think about it. So, kind of looks like <coughs> like a traditional Mega Knight bait deck. Don't know for sure. It's just what it looks like. Looks like I'm wrong. I'm gonna go with Tesla. Just take care of the mortar. Not, not the best timing. I'm gonna do this here. Just take the value where you can get it. Maybe log on the Goblin Gang? No. <laughs> but he just lets it go, so that's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Princess here for the bats. I think we got the placement perfect. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful stuff. I think... Now nah, Princess is gone. Three ticks takes care of her. Okay, so Mortar, Mortar, Poison, Control. This deck, I feel like, used to be a lot more popular in some of the older metas. So this guy just hasn't quite updated his hardware yet. That's fine. I mean, we are actively losing, though. So I'm sure he knows what he's doing. I'm gonna go Knight to tank for this and see if he protects it. Yeah, he does, so that's an easy poison. Because the Rascal Girls are gonna die off. Tesla to help out with the Mortar. Okay. Hmm, I think I'm just gonna let it go. Okay, I have an idea. Since that's gonna get cleaned up, I'm gonna go like this, because I think he's gonna play Bats on it. Yeah, he goes for the Tesla, but either way, that's still fine with me. Still kind of splashing the tower. When that Tesla's up, he's also unable to go in, so that's fine with me. We're going to go with the Knight, because by the time that my Tesla dies, um, the Knight will be tanking. I have to go for a Poison there, just because my cycle is really awkward on the bats. Let's go Little Prince here. Log. 
Pretty bad poison. Oh, he played the rascal so my little prince would stay in the poison. That's smart. I respect that. Now we're going to go princess immediately because I think all he can play is like bats. Ah, he goes for the Tesla. Really well defended, but the, the Guardian is actually tanking for everything. I just realized he has Tesla Mortar. Like, what? Okay. Evil Tesla is going to clean all this up. I feel like he should have known that I had that in cycle, but whatever. Princess Miner, really, really good play. I mean, he's been playing Teslas. He finally plays bats like we were hoping for, and we're going to get a ton of damage from that. So super happy with that interaction. We're going to catch this with Evo Skeletons. Never mind. He goes for the poison. So well played there. Amanda's playing really well, honestly. I mean, he's also playing a control deck, so he knows what he's doing. Let's go Miner Poison here to catch bats, hopefully. Yeah, we do catch bats. That was the cheapest thing he had in hand. He goes he goes for a mortar to punish instead of actually defending the miter miner, so that's kinda of funny. We stuck into the lead now. I don't want to go princess at the bridge. I don't want to be hyper aggressive. Okay, we do catch the miner, so now we're gonna go in for a princess. Try and log on the goblin gang. Goes for a log of his own. I wanna wait till I have enough for miner poison, I think. Okay, never mind. He gives me the poison. He gives me the poison on a silver platter. Never do that. When they're running poison, don't just go for, like, a prediction like that. It's so bad. And we're gonna do this, and then Evil Tesla is just gonna, like, bully our way in. Log on the Goblin Gang. That Miner got so much damage. That's gonna nearly put it into poison range. He has nothing he can go in with. I mean, he can go Miner and then Log and Poison, but the Knight's gonna take the tower. So GG's to that guy. He didn't play that bad, um, but we ended up just kind of edging him out at the end of there. Pause. All right, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Okay, and our next match here against Eye Plague. Interesting name. Very, very interesting name. I've been having a lot of fun with this deck. Like, it feels like the outplay potential is there. I want to keep practicing. Don't get discouraged if right away you have you don't see success with this deck. It's taken me a few games to even learn how to play. And even me, like, I feel like I'm making a lot of mistakes with it still. But I can feel it takes a lot of skill to play, but the outplay potential is absolutely there. He just takes the poison. I'm just going to go for a minor. And, um, might be a mirror matchup. Like I said, this deck is on is absolutely on the come up, so I wouldn't be surprised if we, we find ourselves in a mirror matchup. Yeah, it might be. He's not poison in hand, so let's do this. Okay. Miner, please get down. We're gonna log for the skeletons, probably. Yep. Oh, we got the skeletons. I don't know if you saw, but that was really the only thing that he had in hand there. That was cheap enough, so... Really good job taking advantage of his cycle there. That was awesome. If you blinked, you would have missed it. Okay. So we have the, the lead in the mirror matchup here. In general, you want to save the knight to catch the miner, because if you play skeletons on it, it like, gives them a poison. Free poison. Okay, he's leaking... Me, you're gonna protect our princess here. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Good Tesla prediction by him, in all honesty. Okay. Probably going with the miner here. Yeah, that makes sense. I think if he poisons, it'll be an overcommitment, but. Yeah, he doesn't wisely. Let's do this. And we're gonna log onto the skeletons. Yeah. I should have predicted it. I, like, had a feeling that it was coming. I just didn't trust my instinct. We're going to do this. Just to force out as much elixir as possible. And we do force out a bit of elixir. Hmm. Once that locks, I'm going to do this. We'll probably poison the Evo Skeletons. I feel like that's a really good poison. Okay. Finally, we, we get the prediction log we were looking for. Trying to sneak a princess onto the tower, but it doesn't work. It's kind of figuring things out. We're going to do this poison here. Okay. We're going to try and predict the miner. Yeah, he doesn't do it. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's going to go like this. Test love our own. I don't want him getting, like, cheeky and going in for a princess or anything. He's playing this really weird... He also misses missed the poison, so that's what I'm talking about. It's just like a weird, weird play from him. He's like predicting the miner, or at least he's trying to predict the miner. 
Perfectly defended. I'm playing like hyper defensive right now, but it's only because he's like, he's playing kind of weird. Let's go minor log. It's really hard for them to defend. Yeah, like look at that. We're going to hit the Evo Skeletons and we're going to hit the Little Prince. You get a poison here now. We just got to make sure he doesn't get any princess connections at the bridge. That's really the only reason way that we would like sell this match. I think. Let's do this and then princess as well. Hmm. Well played to him, honestly. But we're, we're like very, very well ahead of this, this race, this base race. Saving the knight for the miner. Okay. I feel like he doesn't want to start the poison cycle race because he's going to lose. Little prince in the back just so we can get our three card cycle. And we're going to do this. We're going to princess here once his princess locks on. Pop the ability early. Log. He's going to play the miner and the poison. Yeah. I was going to say, whenever they pre-play a poison like that, you know it's coming. We're going to do this. He doesn't catch it. And we're going to get a really great poison there as well as a log. Skeleton's here just to finish off that miner. And now we're in a really, really good spot. He goes for a desperation princess at the bridge. We're going to go miner in front. One more miner poison takes it. So GG's to that guy. He played pretty decent, honestly. I think we had a few good predictions that won us the game. So GG's to iPlague. We'll take the dub. BM. Catch you in the next one. All right, into likely our last match of the video against Warrior. We'll see. Like I said, I'm having fun with this deck, so no promises either way. He's running the Princess Tower, which immediately I like to see. That's good for me. I'm going to Princess here. It'll get two shots and finish off the berry if he doesn't play anything. Plays the bats. Oh, and that's exactly what we were going for. A miner in front here. Okay, looks like he's running Giant Beatdown. He's probably just going to ignore that miner. So all the what all the Giant players do. They just ignore it, dude. It's crazy. Okay, Tesla here to pull the giant close to both of the towers. He might go for like a void or something. Okay, go Skeleton King in front. We're going to the Little Prince way over here. And we're going to go Poison on defense. Skeleton's around here. He can't afford to pop the ability. At least I don't think. Little Prince absolutely popping off. Look at that Little Prince, dude. It just demolished that graveyard and demolished that giant. That's the kind of firepower that I love to see. So pretty perfectly defended, all things considered. I don't know how I feel about him going in for a giant like that. We're going to log here onto the skeletons that are going to spawn. Ah, we mistimed it. Okay, so looks like he's running like an old school giant graveyard deck. So I think we should have a decent matchup here. We can defend the graveyard with um, Evo skeletons as well as poison, but he has snowball and arrows, so... We can't usually get away with that. He's either going to arrows the, the Evo Skeletons or he's going to play a snowball on it. I think it's best using the Evo Skeletons on the Giant for the most part. So in this matchup, you typically want to go opposite lane. You know, I could switch lanes here. Really good Skeleton King prediction by him, but it still gets on the tower. That's kind of annoying for him, I'm sure. We're going to go Knight here, and if he goes into the Giant, we're going to have our Tesla ready. Like I said, I want to pull it very far. I'm going to poison this because that's a really good poison. It's going to take care of the Witch and the Skeleton King. And we can defend the, the Graveyard without a Poison. We're fine. We're going to do this. And then we're going to go for a Princess at the bridge. He won't be ready for it. He can go Bats or something late. But it's not going to take care of everything. We're going to do this quickly. And we're in Little Prince. And the Little Prince ability, when I pop it like this, will take care of a good portion of the Graveyard. That's what I'm talking about. Perfectly defended. You were so ready for that. So ready for that. It was great. We're going to go Miner. Have a little bit of split lane pressure here. Nice. That's great poison. Uh, I think I missed the Witch, but I think, it, I think it'll still get taken care of. Beautiful. Yeah, it doesn't quite get taken care of. My fault for missing that poison. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us. We're going to do this. And then we're going to play a poison as soon as we get enough. Okay, we live. We live. Barely. Perfect timing on the Princess of the Bridge. He has to go Bats here, I think. Nice. Good damage. Great damage on the Princess. I'm going to Little Prince like this and hope that we can get our great our uh, King Tower activated. Yeah, that was a pretty bad, like, bomber. Because now we can do this. King Tower gets activated. We can go boom, 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 boom. And look at that Tesla Shockwave as well. Oh my gosh. How is he supposed to break through? This deck is nuts sometimes. Free poison here. Man, if you hate Giant Graveyard, have I got the deck for you. Because look at the way that we are just masterfully playing this matchup. Princess here. I feel like he's going to go bats, but... goes. Wow, he goes for a Giant and times it like perfectly, honestly. 
Let's go Knight. Poison. With King Tower activated, there's really no way that he should get any damage on our, our tower. Go like this. This is going same lane as well. And like I mentioned, you don't want to be going same lane as the giant graveyard player. So we're playing this very, very well. As long as we don't throw. It's always the mantra. Okay. Spell comes down. Night. That King Tower activation was just so good for us. Minor Poison should take the game. Most likely, yeah, Miner gets on the tower. GG's to that Giant Graveyard player, but even better, played to ourselves. So if you don't like Giant Graveyard, this might be the deck for you. GG's to Warrior, we'll take the dub, catch you in the next one. A bonus game! After that uh, win against Giant Graveyard, I'm just I'm feeling good, man. I think I want to, just want to keep running it. Princess hit the back here. Yet to play against Giant. Please let this be the Giant matchup we were waiting for. We'll see. Just might be, or it might be another mirror matchup. Okay, it's not a mirror. Miner get down just to pre prevent the dash. Maybe it's another P.E.K.K.A., but P.E.K.K.A. Little Prince isn't super common. We'll see. Hmm. Hmm. The puzzle pieces aren't clicking for me. I don't know 100% what he's running. My, my, I think Royal Giant or P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, okay, Mega Knight. We're going to try and get King Tower activated here. We do. Wow. Immaculate defense, actually. Like, he voided our little prince, and he's still going to get no damage, which is awesome. Nice. Tesla placement was a little high, but all things considered, it's good. So he's ready bridge spam. Yeah. Really, really, really well defended. King Tower activation, so important against bridge spam. I mean, it's important against all decks, but against bridge spam specifically, majority of their damage comes from troops on your tower. So that's why you want the King Tower activated. He does that. We're going to do this. Let's see if we can get lucky, honestly. I don't really have, like, an amazing other play. Oh, gosh. He immediately goes for the bandit. <laughs> oh, I think he's in trouble here unless he zaps. Oh, he has to go for the void. Since he's low on elixir, I'm going to do this. Pop the ability. I don't know if he can afford a Mega Knight right away. Yeah, he doesn't, so he goes for the Phoenix instead. We're going to get lots of damage onto the tower. So really, really good pressure, kind of knowing that our opponent was going to be low on Elixir after that. So super nice. Oh, I was waiting to log because I thought the tower was going to target onto the Phoenix. Oh, I played Princess instead of Skeletons. You can't be serious. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I played my princess instead of my skeletons. Brother. Okay. Oh, what a misclick. I, uh... We're gonna do this here. Pull it into our Tesla. Good thing we have our knight back in cycle. We're gonna get a good log here. I think this is quite a, quite a good log. It's a free poison here on the LP. I'm not really worried about that battle ram because we have um, our Evo Tesla here. Misplaced that, though. Skeleton's here to protect it. Tesla Shockwave is so good, dude. I think Tesla's the, be like, the best evolution in the game. Okay, so despite having our mistakes, we're looking decent. We're looking decent. Now, one Princess Finger Slip. We're not going to let that cost us the game. No, no, no. Okay, he goes for the Void. Just to kind of like cycle damage on the tower. Bold strategy. Doing it for the fam. Okay, we're going to go Miner in the back here. I'm going to do this. Then Poison. Was that the move? I don't think so. I was trying to get kind of creative with it. You know, trying to get cute with it. Skeletons to keep my Little Prince alive. And it will stay alive. Even after the arrows. Okay, we're gonna go miner here, and I think I'm gonna miner log, try and catch skellies. And we do, and we do, and we do! What a log, what a log! What a log, what a log, what a log! Oh my god. Let's utilize the fact that our king tower is activated by pulling it into the middle here. Easy defense here. We're gonna take this poison, always. Skeletons just to kind of like preserve the HP of our tower. Never mind, he didn't play that on our tower. We're inching our way back into this match after the mistakes that we have made. We're going to go like this. Make sure that bandit doesn't dash. Okay. 
He's just going to spam me, or at least that's what it feels like he's going to do. So the Shockwave here. Poison. On apparently not the Little Prince. Oh, a little bit there. I'm going to go like this. Mitigate the damage that the Void is doing. I'm going to go Miner in front. And then Log. And then Princess as well. I'm feeling it. Princess doesn't lock on the tower, though, so he's going to have a nasty counter push because we just spent a lot, but this deck is so good at defending. He just goes for the Void and the Arrow Cycle, so you can kind of feel the desperation. Okay. I'm going to go Poison here. And try and get back to another one. Trying Skeletons to block the Void. Good game. Well played to that guy, honestly. He played pretty good. I think that's absolutely our matchup. So we made a lot of mistakes. It was closer than it should have been, but happy with how we played. So we'll take the dub, catch you in the outro. That's going to do it for today's video. Here's the deck one more time in case you want to take a screenshot. I think this control deck has the highest skill ceiling in the game. So don't be discouraged if you don't pick it up right away. I promise play a few games with it, figure out the ins and outs of it, and have a lot of fun. It's a really good deck. I promise you that. So give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll hope, I hope to see you in another video real soon. Peace.